I need a touchdown! We're gonna have geckos all over our body. I'm back. And better than ever, I can prove it to you. Eat a medium pizza off your chest on Sunday. <laughs> Push your coffee table to the side. I like it's an imme- I like that it's a medium. Yeah. It's not a small pie. A large is slothful. Large is excessive. Yes. Medium. Is it hot though when it hits yes. your chest? Does that make you eat more quickly? It could. It could. Again, and we <laughs> talked about those motivating factors. Rule number three. Uh, don't make up a word between like and love. To hold you over and pass the time. I told Zoya that I loved her before she said it to me. So for a while, she said, Loke, I loke you. I'm in loke with you. And that was the worst. Because what that is, is a very nice way of saying, yeah, but definitely not over here. Yes, and thank you, but definitely not. My favorite Ariana Grande song. So we get there, and it's his dorm room. And his roommates had no idea we were going to be shooting. Thank you for getting my reaction to that. <laughs> Good. Timely zoom in, Ian. <laughs> his roommates are fucking playing D&D. And they don't know that he flew out of porn. So they didn't know that he's planning to make porn. Yeah, yeah. So I am a big fan of d and I've been playing it since most of them were like not even 10 years old. Uh-huh. So I like try talking to them about D&D and they just look at me like I'm fucking insane. Well, you're a girl. I'm a girl. Also, I'm an entertainer in L.A., yeah. so I dress like a toddler with permissive parents. <laughs> yeah. You know, it takes a lot of work to be in a good relationship, so you want to work for that person. That's a good thing. Also, I could fart anywhere as long as it's not on her. Here's a good indication. Like, if you come home and you're like, I haven't had pizza in a while because I know that it's bad for me, but I think I want that tonight. And then that other person goes, shut the fuck up because I was just thinking that then you're going to want to hold on to that person. I can't be 27 and have my mom pay my phone. Yeah, I man. feel like a chump. Dude, you can't be uh, sexting with girls knowing that your mom is paying your cell phone bill. Yeah. I don't think that's right. Yeah, that's illegal. Yeah. So I like... It's you like know. you're going to let your mom pay for your condoms for you? What are those? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Smash Squatch. Smash Squatch, dude! This would be great... Um like college friend nickname <laughs> you have a friend <laughs> called smash squatch <laughs> and then you get them this and they put it on their desk and then they're all stressed out during finals and then they look and they're like my friends really do have my back or whatever and that's this i get up there and i go into my first bit with the glasses on okay these glasses these, glasses. these are the glasses glasses on okay? these will be available on ebay right after this airs the, yeah well, they're a curse, so uh, maybe they shouldn't be. Cause it's like the Monkey's Paw episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Which you don't Too remember because you're 23. Okay, so. next. What the fuck are you doing, mate? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, I'll never understand somebody raking a pool. <laughs> we have somebody come oh, in about dude. once a week and oh rake the God. pool. There are no leaves there. There are no leaves but he's not going to get paid. He's having a mental breakdown, dude. <laughs> he's not going to get paid. <laughs> you come rake the excess gravel off these fucking stone steps. <laughs> Each rake, he goes more and more insane. Yeah. All right, so we're all done. And my tattoos, all done. I have a wrestling and sugar-related tattoo now for the rest of my life. All thanks to my good friend, Alex. <laughs> I guess at the end of the day, if you're asking why I did it, I guess it's been a long time since I did something for the story. Maybe about 10 years. <laughs> Alex, do you remember when I used to be in that band, Mike Falzone and the Peppermint Trick? I didn't actually know you then. Do you remember? And we had one <laughs> album that had five songs on it because we couldn't get along. We broke up after that, but it was called Do It For The Story. And it's actually the 10 year anniversary of that. And that's why I did this. <laughs> 
do you think I thought of that at the beginning or just recently at the end? I thought about it while I was doing it. <laughs> had a lot of time to think. Didn't like the tattoo, had to think of a new name. <laughs> we laugh at such stupid things, that was the only thing. And you know that. I always, I do know that. It's so and stupid. And I do know that most of them are probably very hard to translate. Yes. Yeah. If it makes me and my friends laugh, that's at least two people. Yeah. There has to be more people like those people. I mean, that was like our how we started doing YouTube in general was mm -hmm. like, well, it's making us laugh. Yeah. And I guess that's true. It still makes some people laugh. So then the advice there is write stuff you think is funny and see if your friends think it's funny. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean... Let's I, go back. So what's the advice, Mike? What you said just a second ago. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do whatever you got to do in your life to be totally cool with yourself and really and truly believe that because everything else carries less weight and when it carries less weight you're not worried about it to the extent that you're worried about it all the time is this great advice i don't know every question ever has been answered by a million different people smarter than me but you ask me for a reason because you want my opinion and this is it Today, I'm gonna do you a solid and I'm gonna tell you how to find true love. <laughs>